Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add measures at the end of a piece in MuseScore, as well as insert measures in the middle of a piece, or delete any unused measures in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So I have MuseScore open, and we're working on the tutorial on adding and deleting measures. So in order to add a measure, um, it's called append. You will want to go to the top left and you will click on add and then go down to measures. And then down here where it says append one measure, uh, you can click that or, and you can see that it added a measure at the end. So append means to add one measure at the end. Now that added one measure, let's say you, uh, you wanted to append more than one measure. You would do the same thing, go to add measures and then append, and then it'll ask how many measures you will want to add. Let's say I want to add five measures. Press OK. Now it added five measures. OK, so that is how you can add at the end. Now the control, the shortcuts for adding a measure, um, I'm going to delete that. So, so if we want to add a measure with just a shortcut, it's control B as in boy. So control B adds a measure, and that'll save you some time from clicking. If you want to add more than one measure, it's Alt Shift B. So Alt Shift B will bring up how many measures you want to add. So let's say you want to add three. So again, Control B will add one measure at the end, and then uh, Alt Shift B will uh, add uh, multiple measures uh, depending on how many you want. Okay. And remember, if you want to undo anything, you just hit Control Z. So we're back to the, the the beginning. So that's how you end add a measure to the end. Let's say you wanted to add a measure in the middle. So what you would do is you would select the measure that you want. So I've got that measure selected. I go up to add and then um, go to measures. And now I'm going to insert one measure. Now what this is going to do is add or insert a measure before this measure that I have selected. So you can see I had that selected and inserted one measure before that. Let's say I want to add more than one measure. You just go to add measures and then insert measures, the plural, and it'll ask you. So let's say I want seven measures, and there we go. It added blank seven measures to the score. So uh, again, this is how you can add and uh, delete measures. Uh, if you want the shortcuts for how to insert the measures like we just did, you would want to do um, insert, so just uh, insert will be the key you would hit for the uh, shortcut for add, inserting a measure. And then uh, if you wanted to, um, you, have to, you have to select one to make sure that it, you can insert. So let's say I wanted to insert one before this. I press insert, that inserted a measure. And then if you want to uh, insert multiple measures, it's control and insert. So those are the shortcuts for adding uh, measures. One thing I wanted to point out is uh, if you uh, want to uh, delete um, an entire measure, you can uh, do control delete. So I have the last measure selected, control delete, will delete the entire measure. Let's say I want to delete this measure, select it, control delete, and that will uh, delete it. Now, if uh, I want to point out if let's say I have this measure selected and I just hit delete, it'll only delete the notes. So that's why if you want to delete the entire measure, you will want to hit control and delete at the same time. You now know how to add, insert, or delete measures in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Also, I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials. I'll leave links on this video. If there are any MuseScore topics that you'd like me to make a video on and post, please leave that in the comments section and I'll do my best to do that also. Uh, I have a full, uh, complete course on how to use MuseScore. I'll leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.